Unraveling. Wood, your guide to English modal verbs. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our English grammar series. Today, we are focusing on a very important topic, namely the modal verb, would. This verb is widely used in the English language, especially when giving advice. Let's unravel its mystery. Modal verbs are special types of verbs that express necessity, ability, permission, or possibility. In today's lesson, we are dealing with would, a modal verb often used for advice, invitations, and talking about past habits. It's a versatile verb and an essential part of your English language journey. Would is commonly used when we want to give advice or make recommendations. It's a softer, more polite way to give advice compared to using should. Here are some examples. 1. You would do well to start studying for the exam now. 2. I would recommend taking a coat with you. It might get cold in the evening. 3. She would love this book. It's about her favorite topic. In these examples, we can see that would softens the advice or recommendation, making it more polite or gentle. Would is also used when extending invitations or offering something, which again is a polite way to express the intention. Here are some examples. 1. Would you like some coffee? 2. Would you care to join us for dinner tonight? 3. Would you mind helping me with this task? These phrases are a polite way of offering or asking for something. Finally, we use would when talking about past habits or things that happened regularly in the past. Here are some examples. 1. When I was a child, I would go to the park every day. 2. She would always bring a gift when visiting friends. 3. We would visit our grandparents every summer when we were young. These examples show how would can be used to talk about recurring actions or habits in the past. So there you have it. You've now learned how to use the modal verb would for giving advice, extending invitations, and talking about past habits. Practice makes perfect, so try using would in your daily English conversations. You'll soon find that it becomes second nature to you. Keep learning and see you in our next lesson.